Hello and welcome back to Ascension. Since last episode, I have messed up a tad. But I did remove the decorations because it's no longer Christmas. And I also worked on the village a bit. So if we look on the map here, you'll see that I made the basic pathway. And just kind of... Well, actually, I think the pathway is about all I did. But, uh, yeah, I worked on the village. But I also moved the dragon because having it all the way out over here wasn't very uh, useful. So I put it up here in a pen where the tree was. But the problem was, while I was at the village, it kind of grew up. So, uh, yeah. I thought I might have been out of the range so it wouldn't have continued to load. So, you guys didn't get to see it when it was a little tiny baby dragon. But, uh, yeah. It kind of grew up a bit. Okay, so we just got very lucky. The dragon just grew up from a baby dragon into a full-grown dragon, and I have some fish in a saddle here to tame it, and the bones used to make it sit, I believe. So uh, now if I try this, it loves me. Yay. So I think that actually worked. Uh, just wasting all this hard-earned fish. But uh, now I can put the saddle on it, and I forget how to make it fly. Uh, one second. Okay, so I just checked the key binds, and for ascension, I made it E is fly up, F is fly down, so, uh, let's fly on my dragon. Woohoo! It's been a while since I've done this. I think, uh, okay, you don't slowly drop. That's a, I think that's magic carpets I'm thinking of, but you can just kind of idle here, too, and the dragon goes into this really cool position. Let me just see if I can, uh... So that's the idle position, and if you fly... So now I have a pet dragon that I can fly around the world, and that is pretty awesome. I also can land it, but like I said uh, in the previous episode, if it lands in water, it's kind of hard to get it out. And if it falls into the void, I don't think I can get it back. But now I can use F to land, and, and then shift left, or left click, or no, shift to get off. Uh, I was thinking left shift and got that totally messed up. But, uh, yeah, and, uh, oh, right, the dragon follows me. Uh, that's not good. But if I right-click for a bone, it will go into its city mode thing. It's also getting snow all over, so, um, I think I'm gonna cut, get rid of this pen and prepare for the next thing I want to do, now that we have the t dragon tame, so, uh, yeah. Okay, so now that we got the dragon, I can move on to the next thing I want to do this episode. Uh, one thing I want to mention real quick is I was considering on making a place for the dragon to land over here, like a little balcony. But I guess the roof works for now, but that snow might get a bit annoying, so I might want to build a little balcony out there anyway. Because, I don't know, I just thought it would be cool if the dragon landed there and kind of even came in here. And use this area as, like, where the dragon was. But, uh, that's kind of what I've been thinking since I added the dragon's mounts mod in this. But I'll need that to make it sit. Uh, I don't... I think I might just want to keep the fish and the bone in here just in case I need to control the dragon at some point. Because, uh, I think I'd want that stuff handy. And, uh, the thing I want to do this episode was, uh, explore a goblin camp. The thing is, though, I don't know where any new ones are I haven't explored already, but the reason I want to do that is because I don't think I've explored a goblin camp since I buffed the goblin mobs. I think I might have did one over here, but I don't think the chieftain boss was there. Either way, I really want to go and uh, fight the chieftain boss. Oh, that was a goblin camp I did. But uh, there's the new goblin chieftain boss, or the revised one. We haven't fought that yet, so I want to fight him again so it counts for the goal of beating all the mini-bosses. So I was thinking we can use our dragon and fly into this mysterious region over here we never been in before. So, uh, yeah, let me just get some supplies and we'll do that. Okay, so I think I got everything I need, and, uh, if I right-click, I need empty hand. But I just brought some basic potions, because it's not that hard of a fight, but, uh... Okay, hopefully the dragon doesn't freeze water. I didn't even think about that. But, uh, the purple marker over there is, uh, where that area is on the map, the unexplored region. And is that a meteor down there? Uh, yep, uh, that's a newish meteor. I remember I hear a lot crash off camera, or when I'm doing stuff off camera, even on camera sometimes between, like, takes, like when I cut right, like I did back then. But, uh, yeah. So there's a lot of meteors around that I just never see until I leave the base area, because I have the meteor shield. So, um, yeah. Uh, this is kind of boring, and I'm not sure how well the chunks are even loading. So I'll just, uh, cut to when I find the area, and just keep flying with the dragon until then. So, yeah. Okay, so I didn't find a goblin village, but I did find this down here. So I pretty much uh, found land. There wasn't any here, or at least any landmass I found, but there is something there, it looks like, and something here. So I want to go check that out real quick. And, uh, yeah. Actually, what is that? 
Huh, I thought it was just one of those little uh, temples, like the... Um, what am I thinking of? Uh, the... On the tip of my tongue, the... Oh, God! Uh... I think I accidentally hit shift and almost fell off the dragon. Um, I'll just leave the dragon here. And, oh, I need the bone to make it sit, right? Uh, the dragon will fight, I believe, but I want to use it more as a... Okay, so it was sitting. I think it stayed sitting because I got off it sitting before. But I thought this was one of those um, little zombie temple things, but those are made out of stone brick. So I actually have no idea what this structure is. Okay, I know what this structure is, and it's actually something I've been hoping to find. It's a Doom-like dungeon, and I don't have torches. So uh, I'm going to put this here, grab these torches, and we're going to go explore a Doom-like dungeon. Now, we have explored this in the Nether before, but I have been wanting to do an Overworld one, because the Nether one, I don't know, I felt too easy. But these do have really good loot occasionally. It's not like every chest has amazing loot, but we might even find another Dragon Egg so we can put one back in the Hall of Ascension. So, uh, yeah, let's explore this. Okay, so this will be pretty dangerous. It's covered with spawners. And, uh, well, good thing I brought my good gear, or my better gear, I should say. But, uh, I think I'm gonna do the same tactic as the last one, where I'm going to try and just, uh, take out the spawners, and, uh, worry about the loot later. Oh, god. This is more hectic already. Uh, it's har always hard to start, I'd say, because you don't know where the spawners are. And I always feel like, uh, the sound's too loud when I do stuff like this, just because I'm getting hit a lot more than usual. Ah, and I, oh god, I'm getting a bit of lag even, probably because there's just so much happening now since I'm in the area, oh god. Okay, so this is not going very well for me. Uh, hold on, uh, let me just cut for a second, I think I have an anchor stone here, yeah, let me just uh, set this real quick so uh, in case I die I can come back, and uh, yeah. Oh! Milk bottles! Uh, that's actually very convenient. I was just checking the chest real quick and noticed them. But this cure is poison, and with all those witches around, uh, having a poison cure is kind of needed, I'd say. Oh! We got a loot chest from a witch, and also we got, uh, the updated, uh, lithos, so apparently a new gold texture. I didn't test out the revised texture pack too much, I usually just update when I see there's an update. So, uh, yeah, but that's the witch's bonus loot chest. We didn't get anything phenomenal like the special witch potions, which I think I did get working. Remember, I had some trebles at first. And, uh, adventure diary, not much use now because we had the full thing already. Uh, I think I will just be grabbing the basic stuff and just trying to light this place up as I go. I think I can get more torches too because of how I set it. Uh, this dungeon doesn't seem particularly difficult at the moment. But, uh, well, we don't know how difficult it will get, and oh god. Um, that's a pretty good example, which has come out of nowhere. But, uh, yeah. These aren't as hard as the nether ones, I'd say, though, just because of the mobs in them aren't as tough. Like, you don't have a ton of fire everywhere and such. But overall, they still are pretty tough, and the witches are, um, plentiful, to say the least. So, uh, darn, we're still not getting very good loot, unfortunately. And I don't know where all these spawners are, but apparently there's a zombie one I missed. Or else there wouldn't be a ton of zombies. So, uh, yeah, I do need to keep grabbing more milk bottles as I find them. And it's possible I won't find all the rooms here just because it is very maze-like. Oh, God. That is not part of the dungeon. That's a Deadly World Swarm spawner. And because this is underground, those kind of things can spawn. And will spawn. Which adds to the difficulty. And, uh... Ah, not bad. But my inventory is starting to fill up, so I think I'm not going to grab a whole bunch of stuff as I go. In fact, I think I might throw some stuff back, just so I don't ha get my inventory full, and if I do find anything really good, I can grab it. Because like I did before, I probably will come back through off-camera and just uh, clear this place of anything I missed. Oh, God. <sighs> okay, that's a Grimoire of Gaia creeper-like mob. Uh, apparently this is outside the Doom-like dungeon now, too. So, uh, let's just try and loop back around and head to the areas we missed. And, uh, yeah. Okay, that's, uh... Ooh, that almost could have been bad. Uh, is that a group of spawner? Yep. Uh, usually the Doom-like dungeons are taller from what I remember. So this could just be a short one or something else could be going on here. I'm not sure. Uh, okay, this is where we came in. Um, I actually think I'm gonna change my anchor... Oh. Take care of this witch first, who poisoned herself. Poor thing. And actually, let's just try and get this spawner since it's a, yeah, witch one. 
and uh, put that there. But I want to rebind my anchor stone here, and then we'll start exploring again. Okay, so we found some more witches right away, and a creeper, who I thankfully... Oh, no, 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 no. Well, uh, that did not go as I hoped. Uh... Pretty much nothing good so far. I'm really kind of annoyed because in my test worlds when I was testing these dungeons, I occasionally would find some really good stuff. And I know I talked about it. Oh, and there's the new silverfish texture, which is uh, pretty cool in my opinion. They try to make them look a bit more endery because you usually find them near the stronghold. Although I don't think they actually have much to do with the end because those are more endermites, the newer one. And I think there are silverfish spawners in here, which are really dangerous. Uh, there it is. So, Creeper and Witch as well. And we already got a ton of levels, probably thanks to my uh, battle gear here. You know, the Knowledge Helmet. And uh, can the Witch get through? Uh, that might be the same Witch. I always have to check up because this is the height I'm more used to seeing here. And oh god. Uh, oh, and I also forgot sometimes spawners can be under these chests. But oh, here's a higher value chest and a night stone. Uh, I forget how this works because I know in the previous episode I couldn't get it to work. But I know it works at night. That's how it's supposed to work. That's why it's called a night stone and it gives you like strength. So I think I'll just keep that on me for the moment in case it does decide to well, work. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm starting to actually clear this place, or getting closer. So, uh, yeah, oh, at least some more spawners here. Okay, so there wasn't much in this corner, just that stuff there, and, uh, there's some more stuff over here, though, and, um... Ah. I was like, there has to be a spawner over here, there wouldn't just be a witch lying around randomly like that. So, uh, let's see. Let's try and break this. See what this chest has. I'm still not seeing anything really awesome, which is kind of annoying, because I really hoped I would have found something cool by now. I don't know. Like I said, it is a low chance to have a really high-end chest, but I did make chest have the chance of having really good loot on purpose because I want these dungeons to be the hardest thing in the mod pack in a way. Well, I guess not as hard as bosses, but uh, you probably get what I mean. They're supposed to be the hardest dungeon, a lot harder than the other dungeon structures. And there's a double chest. Uh, I don't think there are, like, boss rooms, but I do think it's uh, based on number of spawners in the area sort of thing. But I also am also using really over... Oh, God. I did not see that creeper sneak up behind me. There's an Enderman spawner, though, but, uh... Ooh, my inventory's full. Let's throw back some stuff real quick, because I think I heard a skeleton sneaking up on me. So, we are getting some better chests, but we're still not getting really high-end stuff. Nope. Okay, sorry for that extended cut there. It just got a bit hectic and there was noise outside, so, uh, yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, this is getting really hectic here because there's so many spawners in this area and it's all kind of open up. So, uh, I have checked a few chests. I have fought a bunch of witches and such. And, oh, that seems like a very good room. I've had three spawners right there. Oh. So, uh... Yeah, so far so good. Uh, I think I might even got a music disc. I know a skeleton shot a creeper, but I'm not sure if it gave me one because it might have had the timing like I killed it first sort of thing. I'm not sure. I'm just trying to run through this real quick because I would still like to find the goblin village this episode. So I think I'm just going to wrap up here and, uh, or not wrap up here, but, uh, ooh, here's a high end chest with some nice stuff. So, yeah, you saw there's a bunch of, uh, spawners in this room and we got a better than normal chest. So, uh... Yeah, still not that fantastic, or still not as good as I'd like, but, uh, let me just, uh, kind of clear through here, because I think there is a witch spawner, at least, I mix, mix somewhere. Yeah, words. But, uh, yeah, let me just, uh, do this and check over here real quick. I'll cut if I find anything, then we'll head back out and explore some more. Okay, so there's apparently another exit here. Um, I think the one we saw in the water over there is part of the same dungeon, and oh my god, a whole bunch of silverfish, and oh my god, what did I just run into? Um, yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna try and walk out- oh crap, I hit the Enderman too. So, uh, this is not very good. Uh... Okay, so I think I got most of them, and I got a bit of lag there. Oh, there's the witch spawner. I was like, the I saw the witch here, so there probably was a spawner, but couldn't see it, and, uh... Yeah, so apparently that's, I think, the end of this side of the dungeon. I know there's probably more this way, uh, but I don't really want to keep digging around through the walls and such, and how'd I miss that? 
Oh, that's the silverfish spawner from the silverfish nest. Not part of the dungeon, do or deadly world, not the dungeon. You know what I mean, I think. So, uh, I don't know. I think that's going to be it for this dungeon. Oh, God, this is actually pretty dangerous with all the witches here. <laughs> Whew. I'm really glad I got those uh, milk bottles, though. I think that's the first time I really used them in the series. Oh, and I guess this is going to be the last room, and then I'm going to head back out because it has two chests. But, uh... Oh, that's a pretty high-end chest, and, uh, not so high-end. So, that's kind of what I mean by high-end chest. I think that's the only one I found so far. I think there's only a few per dungeon, though, or something like that, but, I don't know, there's probably still areas I haven't found in this with chests and spawners still, but I think that covers most of it, and like I said, I would like to get back out and, uh, find the dragon again and keep exploring. So, uh, yeah, here's my ladder out. I'll need to break this. And switch that around. Uh, actually, let me throw some stuff in a chest nearby. And yeah, so I'll cut to when I'm back on the dragon. Okay, so I did find a small goblin village structure here. As you can see, there's also an Enderlord. What looks like a Doom-like dungeon. I think that's probably a dungeon pack structure. And a village over here, a uh, blacksmith. So uh, I think I'm going to land here. And explore this real quick. I don't think the chieftain's here. But we still have some goblins at least. And uh, the dragon is sitting. Good. So, I don't know. I think I'm actually just going to grab the totem and leave. Because... There's not much here. You know, having the mystic powders are nice. But, um, you know, there's just these spawners. And, oh, let's just check the chest real quick. Eh, bombs aren't bad. So, uh, there we go. Uh, that's about it for the goblin village, I guess. So, I think I'm just going to head back on the dragon and explore around a bit more to see if I can find other goblin villages with the chieftain real quick or other structures to explore. I don't really want to do the pyramid or... Fly. Wrong key. Uh, huh. Why do you fall right back down? Uh-oh. Um, I did not mean to do that. So, uh, pretty much I was flying around on the dragon and accidentally spawned the Enderlord boss. Because I fell off the dragon. So, uh, I need to drink this potion, but I'm waiting for him to teleport. Uh. Crap. Uh. There we go. So this should make quick work of the boss. Uh, I just hope I don't die because I don't have an anchor stone immediately nearby. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Okay. Whew. So we are apparently going to kill the Enderlord this episode. I wasn't not thinking of doing that at all. But I don't know. Maybe we'll get his loot chest because I'm not sure if we rematched him since I had the loot chest or not. I think we might have, but... Okay, so we did get his loot chest, just noth nothing good in it. Eh, words. So, uh, actually, I think I'm going to throw a bunch of the stuff in here and just pick it up with a block mover. So, uh, that would make my job a bit easier of getting around. And we got one of those bugged feather falling books, because I don't know how to add that stuff properly. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get back on the dragon, see what's wrong with his flying, and, uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm back, and I did find the Goblin Village. I almost uh, gave up, actually, but uh, the game did crash, so I did lose a bit of my map, because Mapware doesn't save the map when you crash for some reason. But I did find some more Doom-like dungeon entrances all over, a village without a... Uh, what is it? Blacksmith? And uh, there's a big snow biome with a Doom-like dungeon entrance, it seems. So, uh, yeah, but I did find the Goblin Village, and that was my goal. And, uh, yeah, so if I can just uh, bring... Oops... Uh, the dragon does uh, try and catch you if you fall, which is a very useful feature because um, actually my uh, little keybind thing to start recording has a uh, shift in it. So every time I try to start a recording, I fell for a bit, which is not very good. But I don't think the goblins use poison and oh, the dragon, is it following me? I'm not sure. Anyway, if the dragon is following me, I guess we're just going to take on this camp with the dragon. If not, well, we'll just solo it and... Uh, there's the Goblin Shaman, which is more of a mini-boss, I'd say, but, uh, is the Goblin Chieftain actually here? I'm not seeing him, which really sucks if he isn't, because that's the person I came here to fight. Okay, my dragon's apparently having trouble getting over a fence right now, and oh my god, lag. Whew. So there is the full totems, at least, and... Oh boy. Uh, I don't want to use a Strength Potion yet, because that would make this too easy, I feel. But, uh, I will if I need to. At least if I see the Chieftain, I probably will. So, uh, I don't think the dragon's really doing much at the moment. It seems he's stuck on a fence, actually. 
And I have no idea where the shaman went to. He's probably hiding in one of those green goopy houses things. So actually, I think I am going to just break the spawners this time. I know I have it in previous- oh. Okay, I don't want the dragon to die though. Death to the dragon would be very, very bad for me. Uh, huh. So this isn't going quite as I planned. So I think I am just going to take a strength potion. And I probably should have eight first. But uh, the dragon's taking out most of these guys pretty well. But I'm just going to run around, one shot most of them. Uh, find the shaman again, wherever the shaman teleported to. I don't know, the shaman could even be dead for all I know. Uh, not much in that chest. So I really need to heal up the dragon when I get back to the base. Speaking of which, I have no idea how I'm going to get it back to the base. Because, uh, I could fly it back, of course, but I might not want to do that. Okay, so that almost was bad, I think. Um, this is the shaman's room. I thought it was the chieftain. And, um, uh, I think the shaman's dead. I think the dragon might have killed the shaman when I wasn't looking. So, uh, yeah, but there's a wolf here. And there's never much in these chests because I couldn't customize them. Almost miss said that. But, uh, so yeah, I think that might actually be it for the village, more or less, because I'm not seeing much else. And, uh, I know there's probably a spawner in this house. Oh, no spawner even. Ha, huh, there wasn't even many spawners in this village. So, uh, let me just get the bow and make the dragon sit because, uh, I don't want him running around. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna grab the totems and end the episode here because I didn't find the gap. Oh god, a yeti! Huh! That was lucky. Okay, so I think I'm gonna wrap up this episode here. I didn't find the chieftain here, and the shaman, I think, teleported himself underground because I still hear a goblin, but I can't find any. So I'm gonna explore around a bit more off-camera and hopefully have an actual goblin village for next time so we can fight the chieftain. And, you know, I'll just explore around with the dragon and maybe even try a few of these doom-like dungeons or something. But uh, that's going to be it for this episode. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed seeing the dragon in action for the first time. And uh, still not sure I'm going to get back to the base. I might try an entity move or just fly him. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So hopefully you enjoyed. And until next time, goodbye.